Part of the benefit of being a Chromebook user is the fact that we get regular updates kind of all the time. The OS is changing all the time and we get new features and all this cool stuff. But part of that process means that we're going to run into issues here and there. And some of the issues are small nagging problems and some of them are big, big deals. And there was a recent update that caused some big issues for a lot of users here recently, and it's caused us to take a step back and say, okay, how can we help some of you out there get your Chromebook fixed and maybe reverted to a prior version of the OS in the event that something bad has happened to it? And that's the benefit of Chrome OS. It's lightweight and you can get it reinstalled really quickly. So we wanna show you all the ways that you can go about fixing your busted Chromebook. All right, so before we jump into this, uh, it needs to be understood that if the problem you're running into, the bug you're running into, whatever, is, is big enough of an ordeal that you feel like you need to bounce back to an older version of the operating system, that's what we're gonna kinda get to at the end of this, and that means you need to revert your Chromebook. But to get to that point, you have to actually power wash the device first. So you cannot do a revert before you power wash. So first up, we're gonna show you all the different ways you can go about power washing your Chromebook because we've talked about them in various different videos and you know throughout the last six months or 12 months, Months or so but we want to put them all here in one place so it's really easy for you to reference and obviously go the route that is the most simple and we're going to start with that simplest route here in the settings all you got to do is just start typing power wash as soon as you do click it there's a button right there click reset it'll walk you through a couple prompts making sure that you actually want to power wash your device click the buttons, agree to it, and your device will be back to factory settings. Now, arguably, just as simple of a method is from the lock screen. Now, you can't do this just from anywhere. You have to be signed out. So I'm actually gonna sign out uh, from this account or whatever account you're in. And from there, there is a keyboard combo that you can press that will get you to the same exact power wash prompt. It is Control, Shift, Alt, and R. So I'm gonna do that right now. And you see immediately, reset this Chromebook comes up again. Click the button, it'll walk you through some prompts and you will be factory fresh in just a few minutes. Now, imagine you can't get logged in or you can't uh, navigate your Chromebook for some reason. I don't know, there's a bug that messes with your mouse or the keyboard's not working or something like that. Then you gotta take some more aggressive steps here and that's where we're going to go in and actually enable and then disable developer mode. We generally don't tell people to turn on developer mode unless you know, you're a developer, but in this instance, by doing so, by flipping that on, it's going to flash, reflash the image, and then by turning it off, it's gonna reflash the image again in the stable mode, the last one that you have on your Chromebook, which is a functional power wash. Now, the regular power washes that I've just shown you take just a couple minutes tops. This next process will take 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your Chromebook, depending on how fast it is and all that kind of stuff, but it can be done basically from anywhere. So I'm gonna cancel out of this. But you can be uh, powered off, you can be powered on, you can be logged in, you can be logged out, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is hit escape, refresh, and your power button, which sometimes is up here on this Chromebook, it's over on the side. So I'm gonna hold those two, and I'm gonna click the power button. All right, so this is the new recovery screen that pops up when you do that. There is an old one that looks like it's got like a USB stick here, and it's saying Chrome OS is missing or something. On either one of these screens, all you have to do is hit Control D, and it's gonna to attempt to put you in developer mode. Again, this is what we want to do. So on your other screen, just follow the prompts. I think some of them you'll hit power, some you'll hit space. Whatever it tells you to do, you want to enter developer mode. So I'm gonna confirm that here with the arrow keys and confirm, and we're gonna start that process and it does take a few minutes. All right, we're now up in developer mode and from here you can go ahead and boot and log into your device and move on. We don't recommend that, however, for most people. If you don't know exactly what you're doing at this point, it's recommended that we go ahead and get back to secure mode. Either way, you've got a fresh version of Chrome OS going on here, so it's gonna accomplish the same thing both ways, but when you're not when you're in developer mode, you're, you're not using all the security that a Chromebook offers. So again, we would recommend at this point, you could return to secure mode, and when we click this and we confirm it, it's going to boot right back up just as if uh, you just opened it up or you just power washed, it's factory reset all the way back. All right, so now we have gone through three of the four ways that you can power wash your Chromebook. And these are honestly going to cover 99.9% .9 of people and issues that you're gonna run into. So just to recap, we've got the general settings menu, just go to your settings, search power wash, click the button, follow the prompts. 
We've got the lock screen shortcut, Control Shift Alt R, and follow the prompts and you'll be power washed. Or you can turn on developer mode by hitting Escape, Refresh, and Power, turning it on, and then just turning it right back off. And that's where we are at this point right now. The only other way that you can power wash a Chromebook basically is to write a recovery image using the built-in Chrome OS recovery tool. Now you can do this from a Windows device or a Chromebook. You just It's in the web store, you can get it. It's pretty simple and straightforward to walk through. But if you can get uh, to recovery mode like we just did and turn on and turn off developer mode, there's really no reason to go and write that image onto a USB stick. But it is there if you know that that 0.1 percent uh, of you might need to go about doing it that way but these three methods and that fourth method possibly uh, should cover you on all the bases you'll need for getting to this point right here a power washed factory reset chromebook now that we've arrived at this point which is factory fresh completely power washed that's only really half the process. So as I said in the beginning, you need to get to this point before you can revert because ultimately, if the problem is with this version of the OS, just power washing doesn't do you any good. You're gonna end up booting back into the same exact problem and running into the same situation and having to repeat the same process to get to this point again. So we don't want to do that. We usually would want to revert to an earlier version of the operating system, the one you had before you just updated that caused all the issue. And so in order to do that from this uh, screen that looks like you just opened your Chromebook up. You're going to hit Control Alt Shift R, and it's going to bring you again this familiar Power Wash screen. Well, just do that same thing again, and now you have Power Wash and Revert. And once you clicked on that, it does have the image stored, and it can pull down what it needs to get the last version of Chrome OS. When I click that, it's going to tell me it's going to Power Wash. It's going to revert to a previously installed version of Chrome. Hit Continue and you'll be all set. Everything will be back to the way it was before you took the update that caused all the problems. But that's it guys, if you follow these steps, whichever one works best for you, and again, whichever one's the simplest way forward, you can get reverted and get yourself set back up and in a spot where whatever bug is causing you issue isn't gonna be causing you issue, and then when Google rolls out a fix, then you update. And usually when there's a bug or something like what happened with Chrome OS 91 here recently, Google stops that update process. So once you've logged in, your Chromebook's not gonna to try to update to that version again. They'll pause the update, they'll figure out the problem, and then when they roll out a new update, it's usually fine to take that and just move forward. But keep this in your back pocket for when those times come up, when stuff just doesn't work out, there's a rogue extension or something's going wrong, this can fix just about any problem on any Chromebook. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.